I am not really a big fan of funnel vision. Ah, there we go. Took you by surprise. You're used to these things beginning with, we all know blank, or I'm a really big fan of blank. But no, I'm not a really big fan of funnel vision. Take that. No. Oh. Okay, listen, I do watch it once in a while, but only when I'm just so bored out of my skull. I do chuckle a little bit, but I'm bothered by all the fart jokes and everything else. I mean, seriously, flatulence is so overplayed. One day, however, something happened that traumatized me so much that I stopped watching them for quite a while before I just gained the courage to watch them again, and believe me, it, it, it took a lot. First, I need to explain what funnel vision is to you who do not know. Funnel vision is an allegedly family-friendly YouTube channel about a family and their daily lives. Doesn't that sound exciting? There's Duddy, Mommy, Chase, Mike, etc., etc. And they also have a bunch of other channels too, like FGTV, Dull Much Fun, and Skylander Boy and Girl. How inclusive. It also at one point became victim to YouTube's advertiser-friendly deal during the whole Elsa Gate thing, if you recall that. Uh, do you want to build a snowman? But there was a video on YouTube that seemed to be a very unsettling fan video that no one saw except for me. So this is my story. One night, I was looking through YouTube, bored out of my mind and wondering what to watch. I have no friends, but an idea popped into my head. I was going to watch M&M Gaming 13's rants on Funnel Vision, with the sole intention of seeing all the hate comments from hardcore fans and getting a good laugh out of me. <sighs> Better than playing this shitty M&M racing game for the Wii. While watching one of his rants and going deep into the comments, there were a few comments agreeing with M&M Gaming 13, and a majority of them were hate comments backlashing at him. Uh, but eventually I scrolled by a comment that caught my eye and kept it. It was by a user named 12FG38T39V. I was confused by the username, but shrugged it off as one of those stupid usernames people put in at times. I inspected the comment itself, and it said, Here, Eminem, this is for you. Then right below that was a YouTube link. Huh. How did that get by the spam filters? Luckily, I already had an account on YouTube, so I could click on the link freely, but then again, I mean, you could just go... Anyway. The link led to a video that, to this day, still... haunts me. The title of the video was, For Eminem Gaming 13. The thumbnail was a low-quality picture of Funnel Boy. I just thought this would be just a rant backlashing at Eminem Gaming 13 for hating Funnel Vision, but in reality... It was going to be so stupid and fail horribly at its main goal. I hate funnel cake. I don't even know what it is. I just know I hate it. You can go to the circus and get it if you want it, but I don't. The video starts with a black screen for 10 seconds before it faded into a shot of Funnel Vision's house at night. There was no sound at all. Just dead. And I do mean dead. Silence. Oh, the video continued with constant jump cuts to different rooms of the house. The one thing disturbed me. The house was completely empty. Every single bedroom, including Oreo's cage, was empty. I started to question what happened to the family. I just thought, uh, though, they were on vacation. But my instincts told me that something much worse happened to all of them. After all, the jump cuts have then switched to their farm, and yes, they have a farm now, believe it or not. Once again, dead silence, and all of the animals' respective places were empty. Now, I knew they weren't on vacation. After all, who the hell brings donkeys, chickens, and goats on vacation other than, like, Noah from the Bible? It honestly baffled me, but I kept watching, hoping to find some sort of answer. And Noah had a reason, thank you very much. He was keeping them from getting flooded, drowned stuff. The video then cut to black again for five seconds until it faded into a shot of uh, some sort of basement. I'm not sure if Final Vision had a basement, but even if they do, I don't think it's this messed up. It was dark, and the floor was dirty, and in the back of the room there was a rusty door that was torn off its hinges. The doorway opened up to a dark room I couldn't really make out. On the floor there were some costumes from both Funnel Vision and FGTV, such as the Pikachu costume and the Funnel Boy costume. They seemed to have been collecting dust as well. 
stayed on the shot for a while before it cut to a shot of Funnel Boy's face, but had a darker tint to it. The image stayed on the screen for a second, and the bounce sound from the intro for Funnel Vision played. Then it cut back to the same room. I thought this part was nothing special until I looked closer. In the Funnel Boy costume, there was a giant tear where its mouth should be, and inside of it there was a, uh, 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 well, it was a, uh, well, it was a rotting arm. That's right, a rotting fucking arm. It was just dangling out of the costume and seemed to have busted the threads on Funnel Boy's face when the person inside was still presumably alive and struggled to escape. My heart sank at the sight of that. However, something kept me glued to the screen. I proceeded to cut to the same image of Funnel Boy for one second. Each time the picture would worsen in quality to the point where it's just a colorful blob and the boing sound effect getting louder and louder till it's just a loud screech-like sound. It then cut to the same room again and again, and each time more and more objects and body parts started appearing. I put two and two together, and eventually I started to notice each object was a symbol of the Funnel Vision family. For example, there was a phone with a cracked screen that signified Lexi, and a M-I-K-E shirt in tatters obviously signified Mike. I was shaking in fear and just waiting for this freaking video to end. After a few anxiety-filled, to say the least, minutes, just watching this room gain more and more objects and body parts, the video faded to black and stayed like that for five whole seconds before plain text-colored red faded onto the screen. A booming, deep voice bellowed out of my computer speakers that read the text on the screen, and it said, Have a final day! I jumped and instantly turned down the volume. The voice then chuckled quietly, and the video ended, thankfully. I was frozen in fear. Didn't know what to think or what to do. When I went to sleep days after that, I had a lot of nightmares about me being one of the body parts in that basement. After that event, I've just never been the same. I've been much more paranoid, and I get much less sleep. And you know what the worst part of it all is? The worst part of it all is that all of this would have been prevented if I simply didn't click on that link.